Peace and blessings. This is Lisa Marie Goodson of the Afrocentric Home Decor and Style Channel. And as I told many of you, I am going to, I'm doing a, you know, a deep cleaning of the house. And so remember I said that I had two more rooms to go and one of them was the bathroom, the bedroom and the living room. So my husband, I, I wanted to show you the before, although I kind of, you know, did the before, but it's not quite done. So what I want to do in here, my husband vacuumed and swept a bit. But what I want to do on this hardwood floor is I want to mop it. So I'm going to mop this floor. So that's something I don't do as often because, you know, you have the rugs down. But, you know, we need a good mopping. Um, I was thinking about reorganizing this. But I think, yeah, I'll look at it and see these boxes that I created. Actually, you know, these were just what uh, regular pine boxes. And I, my husband and I spray painted it white. And then I put the black, uh, there was no mirrors in it. I got some mirrors cut at Lowe's and I put the mirrors inside of it. And then I took the little bling orange, of course it's orange bling. And so, yes, yeah, the only bling I have because I'm just so not a blinger, I realize that. But I think I'm going to go through these things like that little photograph there, that affirmation. I think I'm going to put it somewhere else. So, yeah, I might go through the boxes and see what stays, what goes. Because it's looking kind of, I don't know, I think I can fix that up. And also, that's my little, I call it my altar and other things. So I'm going to go through the bottom of that and just really see what goes, what stays. I'm still, I didn't wash the bathtub yet. I got to polish and clean all of this stuff. And also what goes, what stays. And this is a mess. I just wanted to show you. Okay, that's not so bad. That show I never use, but this is my make, well, you know, my makeup, so to speak. So it's kind of messy. So I wanted to show y'all the before so that I can then show you the after. A lot, Most things are staying, but we're going to do a little bit of redirecting here and cleaning and, re and you know, making it look pretty. All right, y'all. So this is the before. And this is the, okay, look, that toilet paper thing has to go back in. That little can that holds my sea salt, that has to go back in. This little stool has to go back in. That caddy, the, the, the um, basket caddy, has to go back in. So, And the trash can goes back in as well. So we got a lot to do. But I'm dedicated to it. Even if this is just the only room where I have to, if I have to just take time, which I think it is, I'll do the bedroom tomorrow, then that's what's going to happen. All right, ladies. Love you. See you in the after. Peace and blessings. All right, ladies, so at some point, you got to ask yourself, do I really need this many candles? So we got can't no, we got these small candles. See those? Then we have all of these candles that I never burned. They were just for looks. And candles and even more candles or candle holders and even more candles down there. So we are really, this is about deciding what I love, what I don't love, what stays, what goes. If I'm going to have the candles, then I have to use the candles, maybe a few for show. So we're moving into that reality of what goes, what stays. So I realized that I'm, I'm like over these pine cones here, these ones that I painted silver. You know, I realized overall silver is just not even my favorite color. It's not something that I gravitate to. So it's not that I hate silver, it's just that I don't love it. So even up here, this whole like, you know, I think this is the bling days. You know, I was watching Home Decor Sister and I realized, you know how you get caught up like I was telling you and I was like, you know, I don't know if I'm a silver girl. Like, I think I might keep that up there for now, but I'm in my mind, I'm realizing that that's really not me. And then here, with the tray, and it's funny, I'm in love with this hammered uh, kind of perfume-ish like bar. I think that's kind of pretty. And I actually do like those, uh, as I know, put pictures in it, the picture frames. And then I have the mirrored box. So, like I said, I'm not the mirrored bling girl. Like, that's so probably not me, but I kind of, there's something about this that I like too. So I think that if I just limit it to this area which I have it'll be fine and as I start finding other pieces that I really like I'll replace them but I don't think I'm going to let go because there's some about it that I like I feel like it's okay to have 
you know, one space that's, you know, <laughs> not it's very messy, you know, one space that has a little glamour to it, still incorporating the Afrocentricity, which, you know, I think that that canister does that. I'm going to put the, I'm really going to get some pictures to put in these frames. Been there for a year, no pictures. And, uh, yeah, work this out of here in a different way. Maybe add a, a figurine or something, but not bad. I mean, this, this is not the end of the world to me. I mean, of course, I'm going to straighten and knead it up and all that. I, I can I can fix that. So let me, let's show you the situation with the, uh, call them shadow boxes. So I wiped the mirrors and I, anyway, let me give you all of this. So all of this is, just, as you see, more candles. So... So I wanted to see it nice and clean, so then I can decide if I want to put anything back, if I want to put some things back, if I want to put nothing back. I mean, all this, like, you know what I would really love in between all this is maybe some, no, I'm going to keep it clean and neat, but, oh yeah, I see some spots in here too. So now that I moved the candles, I don't know, how did I clean that? I didn't put those candles back. I think my husband might have put them back, but I'm not sure. So, because I cleaned it, so yeah. Anyway. We're going to fix all this up and decide what goes and what stays. So again, it's all this stuff. Candles. I like orange, so orange still stays. So anyway, we're going to be back. And under here, I'm wishing that down there, I think I can get some trays. or I need this to be looking better, not just the way it does. So I'm going to think of a solution for this. But I'm really going to just think about what's important to me. I know I got all those Zod products. And I really love those. So I do want a place to display my products. So I'm thinking of a basket down here. And if it don't fit in the basket, it don't go underneath there. So I do want the less is more. Because, I mean, who wants stuff laying around that you don't actually use? I mean, I don't. So I got to really think about everything just for show. I don't know. That seems like a waste of space, and I don't want to do that. So, I will be back with you all, and we're going to figure this out over here. All right, ladies, peace and blessings. Peace and blessings, ladies. This is Lisa Marie Goodson of the Afrocentric Home Decor and Style Channel. So, this is the reveal. Reveal? Reveal? Y'all can, cannot believe that I uh, worked on this, like, for a long time. Like, really, the details, getting rid of things saying no, saying yes. So let me show you some of the things I did. So I added the beautiful plush, I call it yellow rug. I really do love this rug right here, this bath rug. And there's another one, so it's yellow as well, but it's a little different, not a set, but you know, I like color. And I think it picks up in that yellow sunlight. And of course, you know, I got the orange, beautiful. For those that are new, welcome, because I know a lot of times you might you haven't seen everything, so you don't know about my beautiful shower curtain that in a very small bathroom is kind of hard to capture but I love this shower curtain this life brings me life so what I did here was I changed the towel it was a white towel two towels or three towels set two towels bath towels white towels and one white hand towel so I'm actually washing those soaking them as a matter of fact I'm doing that now and uh, so, but I put the orange in because, you know, orange is my color. And so I really, I enjoyed it. I like that. So all I did was clean this mirror here. Beautiful mirror I got from Home Goods almost a year ago. And then I kept my boxes. So remember y'all, I told you how I made these spray paint, you know, got the mirrors cut, put in. Um, but what I decided to do with this was I decided to have a place where all of my Za products, you know, they black African-American uh, subscription box, I decided to put all of my products in one place. And so this will be that place. And as I use them, I can easily replace them because subscription box, you know, they come out once a month, at least the Zy box does. So I, I can just go to one place and get all of my smell goods. So tomorrow I'm going to do this lavender body butter that I told y'all about, I showed y'all yesterday, and body wash and I'll use the shea butter that's here, the lavender vanilla shea butter. And so basically I put, I have some soaps in the back and these pretty, the purple package. And the other one back there you can see in the little uh, package. 
I'm going to, those are soaps that I got from a sister from Ngozi, and her name is Revene, and, yeah, Revene, and she makes candles, and she also makes soaps, and her soaps are amazing. So it's so nice to look in all these products. It's all African-American businesses, black businesses, and then this is what I got in my Zao box as well, the chocolate lavender soap. So I'll be working that out. I'll be working that out to the ladies tomorrow. So very excited about that. So all my black owned products right here. Y'all know how good that feels to say that for me. And then what I did is what I do. I brought in that orange. I'll let y'all know when I get tired of orange because I show ain't now. And I did keep the candles here because I do like the color. And one day I'll burn them. Maybe I won't. But that box is the same. What I did is I kept the Dollar Tree vase and flowers there because it has the orange and kind of gold. And then I brought in, this was a gift. Actually, so these two soaps in the back. And then this here, it's, a, it's blue, it's glitter. It was a, a gift from my gift box that I got from uh, Andrea and, I'm sorry, and Leon Carter from Ngozi in Durham, the boutique. And so this is a chunky glitter unscented candle. So I know when it burns, you know, it's going to be really pretty. But I'm going to show you how that blue really ties in. So I actually have two. So this one, I decided to, again, keep the candles. But I'm actually going to use them. So of those three candles in the back, I use those for the altar in the laundry room. I call that an altar that's in there. So I use those and those smaller ones I actually will burn in my husband's bathroom. So, and then, of course, I kept the flowers that's there. And a candle holder. I got candles lit now. All my tea lights, you see the candles, they're lit. And so here's, like I said, the other one. I brought in those uh, Dollar Tree orange flowers that I've been had. And the sister that makes the candles, I tell you, the uh, Revene, these, is, these candles are smelling good. Right now I'm burning, in this one I'm burning, uh, Tobacco Tonka, I think, or Hazelnut Coffee Break. I think so. Here, more candles, but again, those oranges, I love it. Let me just put that one up. And those candles I'm actually going to burn, so I'm going to use them. But for now, I'm just going to decide I'm going to use them. That's why I started burning them now. So that's my boxes. And like I said, bathrooms are tiny. Hard to see. Sorry about that. So something else that I did, I told you I really wanted to fix this spot up. So I did. So I, uh, I cleaned it up. I got rid of so much stuff here. And I just left it very basic. So basically, I kept... Um, let me get down a little bit so you can really see it. Oops. All right, so basically, I took the, the, these beautiful affirmation cards. Look for the beauty. Thank you for everything. And this one says open. And I just pinned them on the wall. And then the one on, this, on the there says... You are radiant. And then I just added some salt to the color bottles. That's a red color, orange. And then I just lined up these little soaps that I picked up from a consignment store. They were selling fresh new soaps. And I kept my orange candles. And then I have my candle that burns all the time. Here's my toilet paper holder which is fine. And so this is what I did a little differently because I told you that I would. So I, inside, it's a little hard to see, but inside I actually took this Kuba cloth mat that I had from African Kuba cloth from, uh, there was in the living room and it was just thin as we just keep moving it around and never really fit anywhere. So I basically lined this little storage that I had for my smell goods. I'm just going to get back a bit. I lined these Lined it with the Kuba cloth, which is, I think is so pretty. And I only have things in here that I actually use. That tall vase has all my stuff for my toes, including my nail polish. This is also from the Christmas gift bag skit from Ngozi. And so this is some sea salt scrub. This is another, this is a sugar scrub. It's vanilla coffee scrub. And then this is another scrub. This one is a frosted peppermint scrub. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely into the scrubs. 
<laughs> well, not a scrub, though. <laughs> okay, and then these are the tea lights. So I, I put them all in one jar. I figure if they can't fit in the jar, I need to get rid of them. So they fit in the jar, and I was like, yes, can keep them. Back here, that, that is back there, some shea butter. And here is the shea butter that I'm currently using. And in here, I just have my two heart crystals and some spirulina that I put in my um, salt bath, my salt baths. And so that's it. So I really feel, it feels lighter, feels better. I really love that space. So let's talk about this space. Like I said, little bathroom, hard. I'm gonna knock myself out there. Okay, so let's get a little closer shelf. So first let's start with here. So there's still this picture that I, uh, it was made for me. And it's really beautiful. And I love it. It's an artist. I forget this this kind of style, but it's wonderful. And I, I had it for years. Remember I had my hair like that, been two knots. And so that, and then be careful on this thing. Then I did, I, I've always had those Dollar Tree uh, flowers that I actually still love. But what I did was I had flowers here where this vase is. And it was covering my mask. And I was like, no, you know, the mask is beautiful. And that's what I really want to see. So I got rid of the Dollar Tree. I, got the, I kept the vase, but I got rid of the flowers, Dollar Tree flowers that was in this vase. And so now I'm able to see the beautiful masks, which I love. I took some extra candles that I have that I'm going to use. I put them in that jar. I got some candles burning. Some more tea light candles are in those two silver back there. And then that affirmation card says, I create time to touch the earth and connect to source. And then because I wanted to keep the vase, it needed some height to balance this. But I didn't, I didn't need the flowers, so I kept it. And every morning I do something called uh, oil pulling. So that's my organic sesame oil. And there's the wooden spoon I use, so I just put it in the vase. Second shelf, cleaned it up considerably. This is, this is like lipstick that is you know kind of used but I can still get something out of it things like that extra but old you know uh, eye um, let me see mascaras other little things that I don't use as often and this is what I use every day so this is all of my I'll show you those lipsticks with the silver those are my Fenty so I have one orange one red well Griselda the orange I can't believe Remember, and then I got a one and a half because I'm one is really used of the clap back. So this is all of my lipstick. Those are my everything else is vegan. The lipsticks are not, but actually these in here are Burt Bees, they're vegan. And then all the rest is vegan makeup. This is my makeup by Pacifica, a company. My brushes are from Whole Foods mostly. My eye mascaras and all that eyeliners, everything is vegan. And then also is my shadows. I got some online. They're all, they're all vegan. All vegan. This is a pink that I really never wear, but I do wear one day. And then this is, I got this is my first vegan unique cosmetics. They're not even called that anymore. I got this out of Little Rock, Arkansas. But my first vegan shadow, and I fell in love. This one is called Eye Cold Moon. I got this online on Amazon. It's vegan as well. Very pretty color. And then this one is another vegan. Another organic and vegan uh, eyeshadow. And then, see, this is empty, but I'm going to actually put my cotton rounds in here. I buy the organic ones from Whole Foods instead of Dollar Tree. You never know what's in the Dollar Tree, but you know it can't be good. Pacifica, again, this is the vegan company, makes an Indian coconut nectar, a solid perfume, it's a creamy perfume, smells amazing, like I'm not even exaggerating. And then this here is another vegan shadow that I got off Amazon. So, no, actually, I'm sorry, Pacifica, I bought this from Whole Foods. All my Pacificas, which is a vegan organic makeup line, I buy it from Whole Foods. So, let's put this stuff back. And then I'm going to wait for my cotton rounds. And this is the last of my eye, my eyeliner pencil. Again, it is Pacifica. Can't see it, but it is. You can probably see a piece, of, a piece of the Ithaca. Okay, it's not focusing, but it is Pacifica, and it's almost gone. Here, y'all, I promise. So now I got my mirror tray, which I clean really nice. 
on this African fabric. And then I have still my, my mirror box, which I just cleaned really nice. I keep my rounds in there sometimes as well. Um, cotton balls, things like of that nature. This is going to have my cotton rounds in here. Those are two empty frames. I promised to put my daughter and, and my, me and my daughter in it or my daughter and my husband or something. So, you know, the folks you love. Here's a mirror box that does have an M, and it's from Marie, Lisa Marie, so, and my mother's name is, was name is Marie, so she's deceased, love that woman, miss her. So I got my cotton balls for when I do my toes, and then I got my canister, but I, in there I have my plastic caps, you know, like your conditioning caps or shower caps, or I use them for conditioners, and also those towels to help do a deep conditioner for my hair. Now, this row, again, is candles so this is a beautiful tray let me see if i could take it down let me just look i got this from home because like i love this tray do you see the flowers flowers on the tray so i know i didn't make this i bought it at home goods and i got three candles that i'll use and of course i got my orange candles gotta be somewhere in there and some mirror tray at that and so I know y'all, I am going to show you how to make total bow bombs, I promise. But I, when I cleaned up on the, on the shadow boxes, I had some of these bombs left. So I just put them in this black container and I still got the total bow bombs. So I'm so glad. It's like the thing you find. So they're, you know, just shining everything up. That's my gold trash can. This is my sink. And this is my cleaning caddy. It's actually basket because you know me. Gotta have basket. <laughs> this is where I keep my sea salt with a cup in there for my baths. And then um, I forgot to dust it. I remember now. So I'm gonna dust those two jars off. This is these jars actually I keep you can see the dust, but forgot I keep incense in here and they're really pretty jars. Like I love these jars. I'll show you again. So I keep incense in these jars. So and then I don't burn this candle, but I just keep one up there anyway. And then of course I have the mirror. I still have the pictures. I just wipe down the glass. Still have my mask. Still have the beautiful ladies. And that's a Dogon door. I uh, got my broom on top, cinnamon broom. And so over here, I got this beautiful towel that I absolutely love. So it, I got this from one of the home stores. I can't remember, but. What I love about it is it has the orange, it has the white, and it has the blue. That's why I love these candle holders or these, these glitter candles. Because they really lock that blue. You can see the blue, the orange here. And then the blue and orange orange picked up in here in the uh, bath towel, which I love that towel. And then this is the hand towel to match. Which really picks up nicely, I think, with the colors here. And then we got some nice, that incense smells incredible. So... This is the bathroom. Uh, the only other thing I want to do is go clean the walls down. Like really come in here during spring cleaning and just all the walls that I could get, actually get them. So this is, I'll just, the bathroom. I wish, let me see y'all. I know it's, this is so silly, but I love being here, being in here at night. It is such like this is to light them candles and treat yourself good and allow that light to shine and just to come in here sometimes and relax. So the smell is off the chain. It really is beautiful in here. And it feels good. You see, I'm all, it got me all relaxed. So that's, oh, sorry. <laughs> just cut off that light. So that is my bathroom. And I hope that you enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next video when I re when I change the furniture around in this living room. I'm going to change the furniture in here soon. Love you all with all my heart. This is Lisa Marie Goodson of the Blackberry Beauty Transformative Academy. Ancient African, I'm sorry, the Afrocentric Home Decor and Style Channel. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace and blessings.
dicen, los mantras dicen, cacuncito. Yo tú lo honras, también te pega atrás de ser, mantras dicen.